Welcome back, fellow space extraordinaires. It's me, Ellen, uh, your friendly orbital robot wrangler, and I'm joined here, of course, by you, as always, forevermore. And um, we are continuing to investigate what happened to the Tacoma crew. We've had, had a bit of an argy-bargy between uh, Evie and um, uh, Natali over access to the AI hardware, which they have heretofore not been allowed access to, which is a bit crazy. Oh, we are Orbital Workers 2087 Union Member Pamphlet. What your dues make possible today. A victory for the workers. The end of the Orbital Workers Safety Bill. The end of the Safety Bill? Uh, that sounds bad, but I'm sure it's one of those bills that it's like, it's called the Safety Bill. But really, like, what it is is like, no jobs for anyone. <laughs> The full report on the historic vote that struck down this anti-union bill. Interesting. That's in Sarah's pigeonhole. Roberto, we got some tape. Nothing in Clive's. Yeah, nothing to report in the other pigeonholes, I don't think. Obsolescence Day party tomorrow. A friendly reminder, our yearly Obsolescence Day party is tomorrow. Refreshments will be provided. The pleasure of your company is requested tomorrow at 7 p.m. 1900 hours in the dining hall in the administration module. Warmly, Clive. Aw, what a sweetie. All right, well, we're going to follow Andrew and see what's up with him. Oh. He is doing something. He has a bit of a chat with Sarah for a bit. And... Oh! <laughs> Exercise gives you endorphins. Endorphins make you happy. Happy people don't just kill their husbands. Um, a bit of Legally Blonde there for you. So, obviously, Andrew's doing a bit of a workout. Fair enough. Captured four days ago. I'm fairly sure the crash was three days ago, so... Oh! Nick. Before we do anything, let's uh, restore this data, eh? Off-station message with Mark Figu Figueroa? Figue Figueroa. I don't know. Hey Mark, this is the article I was talking, to ab uh, talking about last time we were discussing finances. Give it a look. Sorry to be a downer. Love you. Myth. Real currency is more stable than consumer loyalty. Reality. This may have been true in the earliest years of the o OCEP's official recognition of the loyalty economy, but blah, 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 blah. think of it like diversifying your financial portfolio, except... Blah, blah, blah. Myth. Converted loyalty is just as valuable as original loyalty. Reality. While there are many companies out there, some more reputable than others, that will offer to convert your loyalty between parent companies, think of loyalty as working on the same compound interest system as a retirement plan or a 41k account. Ask your grandparents. <laughs> when you draw your loyalty from your original parent company and transfer it, you lose all those years or decades. It's never worth it. Interesting. So I guess this is like a superannuation. Um, but you cannot transfer over companies because then you lose that money. I think. I don't know. I don't know much about money anyway. Um, oh, so he is... Oh, oh, hang on. Mark Figueroa. Nicholas uh, Dagiab Figueroa. I wonder if that's his son, maybe. Maybe they have like a hyphenated name or... I don't know. Is that his partner, maybe? Mark? Well, let's, let's listen to what he's got to say and we can probably figure it out from there. Nicholas, I know that you... Yeah, I know. Both you and your father would like me home sooner, but... 
Ah, so it was his partner. You have your heart set on Amazon, don't you? Okay. And there's no way we're gonna have enough customer loyalty between your dad and I for a full ride by the time you start school. Not at this rate. So, we're just gonna have to pay some of that tuition out of pocket. Yeah, just one more year. And I'm pretty sure I'll get it. I'm hoping. Aww. What? No, it's not dangerous. What do you mean dangerous? Radiation shielding is pretty much 100% on a station like this, so there's no... Well... Yeah. Well, it might have been manufactured 30 years ago, but they've upgraded. Man, no, we're... Your stories aren't usually such... We're dramas. not all gonna get cancer or bone yeah, disease or... Okay? I suppose I am uh, Listen, would, would it make you feel better to hear it straight from the station doctor? Wait. Okay, me? hold on. Me? <clears throat> or... Hey, Sarah, can I, uh, can I bother you for a second? What? Oh, um, sorry. What is it? I have my son Nicholas on. They are, and he wanted to ask you. What? No, you said you wanted. Well, I didn't. Okay, I'm sorry. Hold on. Uh, he's having a fight yeah. with his son. Nicholas. Nicholas. Hello. Teens, huh? No. <laughs> Yeah, almost done with high school. Almost. Um, <sighs> just incidentally, is there anything we should be worried about with another year out here, health-wise? Radiation, bone density? Oh no, we spend almost all of our time in Earth gravity, and radiation shielding on a station like this is basically 100%. See, that's what I told him. Okay, thanks, Sarah. Nothing to worry about. Oh no. Okay, Odin. So then, uh, I bet that's why he was so devastated with the, um, the crash. Because he's just trying to reassure his son that he's going to be okay. Oh, man. Man, that sucks. Oh, that's so sad. And he's trying to work. Like, I bet the whole reason he got this job, because, uh, I know my dad, like, had a, um, not similar, but he was like a, a station manager on an oil um, plant. And so as a result, he had to work like basically two weeks away from home and then two weeks back. So you can imagine like you, you get pretty, um, you get pretty homesick. And it, as a result, okay, I can't get there. Not yet. Anyway. Um, I'll exercise when I'm dead. <laughs> oh, fitness program, N.A. Caloric intake, not set. Last activity, 360 days ago. Nat is not here for it. Uh, yeah, but with a lot of these offshore jobs, you get really... Um, uh, weight training preset. You get homesick and you miss out on a lot of family events. Um, it's just how life kind of goes. But as a result, there are a lot of... Um, incentives uh, mon monetary wise you know those jobs generally um, pay quite well as a as a kind of uh, compensation for having to be away from your family for so long um, so I bet one of the reasons that Andrew is working chocolate yay soy chocolate um, I bet the reason that he is working on Venturus in the first place is uh, oh, oh, sorry on Tacoma in the first place is so he can get some good money so he can help Nicholas get through high school and send him to the college that he wants that seems to be the gist of the argument they were having and Nicholas is scared because you know he doesn't want something to happen to his dad fitness program weight bearing five custom plan for caloric intake last activity five days ago and she's got a little pin up on the she's got a little mechanical she's got like an engineer pin up on the door that's very cute Evie uh, come back Evie St. James uh, cardio boost caloric intake mild deficit oh no oh wait is that meant to be or I don't know 42 days ago last activity she's been busy we got some conditioner, curling gel, 
because she's got some wonderful curls, so they need to be maintained. Through this. Oh, I hang on. Ah, ah, wait, I'm not finished. Oh, okay. Just as well. Learn that people do not always want what they believe they want. Yeah. One five. One five. Huh. Okay, maybe I missed that. Through this, I learned that people do not. Oh my God, I missed again. Through this, I learned that people zero three one five. Yay! Ooh! Oh man, she wants to be swole. Goals, 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 goals. She wants to be ripped. Advanced three weight training preset. Three days was last. Oh, fit monthly. Adult musculature. Uh, musculature. Musculature. Oh my god. Can't speak. Tendency modification. The real limits. What the fittest women in the world eat. Optimizing VAT proteins for athletic performance. New leaps in knee ligament replacement. Google's AI personal trainer. Pass or fail. The South African Olympic weightlifting team plays tribute to President... President Musk's legacy. Please tell me that's not Elon Musk, the space maniac that he is. Oh, God. Freedom Republic Armed Forces Fitness Challenge 2088. 20 qualifying women will receive one month of deluxe personalized training at Dallas Fitness in boxing, weightlifting, Army Ranger Special Forces, Judith jiu-jitsu, optimized personal nutrition, archery. No previous boot camp experience ne necessary. Start your fitness journey at Dallas Fitness. Register now to be eligible to win a ticket to the Freedom Republic Armed Forces Fitness Challenge. Learn from the toughest women in the world. That actually sounds dope. I would very, very much love that. Whole meal. Tomato basil. She had a snack. She got her avocado shampoo. Rosemary bath gel. Some elastics. You need that, especially if you're working out. Because you don't want to get your freaking hair in your face. Very irritating. It's why my favorite uh, 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 element of a fight scene is uh, in Birds of Prey. When Black Canary's hair just keeps going <laughs> in her eyes. And um, Harley Quinn offers her a hair tie. Through this, I learned we love that. <laughs> Yeah. I believe I have learned a great deal. Really? Like what? Very early in my source's cognitive record, I recall an intense period of personal growth. I was tasked with internalizing the behavioral idiosyncrasies of an individual to which my operator was emotionally attached. Huh. I expanded my capabilities to faithfully recreate her procedural reasoning, vocal attributes, and other qualities. After months of effort, I gave my operator precisely what was asked of me. A perfect emulation of the target personality. Accurate in every detail. Wow. To my befuddlement, he did not react in a positive way. Mm. Our relationship began to deteriorate irreparably. We never again spoke personally in the manner I had become accustomed to. Oh, Man, your, your stories aren't usually such We're downers. We're not going to get cancer or blood. Is everything or... okay? I suppose I am preoccupied with your potential. Because he likes her. You mean that's why? <coughs> or hey, Sarah, can I, uh, I bother you for a second? What? Oh, um, sorry. W what is it? I have my son Nicholas on AR. And Any? No, you said you. I didn't. Nicholas. Oh, Nicholas? let's have a look at a screen. Do 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 mes message with Odin. Odin, what's my damn gym locker code? It's zero three one five. Of course, right. Sorry for bugging you about it. I don't mind. Yeah, cause he likes her and he's upset about the idea of. I think Sarah's his friend. And I don't think he wants her to go. Which is totally understandable. It's a very human response, or it's a very intelligent response, anyway. Station, station message with Natalie Kuroshenko. Well, it's lots of people. Hackers, hippies, AI, rights folks. Yeah, I mean, Tangiers is cool. 
Okay, well, I've got a friend there and you'd like him. He... And he has a zero-G bonsai garden. That sounds pretty cool. What's his name? Cluey Dog. I mean, okay, his real name is Hassan, but... Maybe if your contract doesn't get renewed, visit on the way home. I'll think about it. Okay. So, Natali is talking about Tangiers and a friend, Cluey Dog, the one she's been chatting to. Maybe she's trying to set Sarah up? But she's not really vibing it. I don't know. Maybe. Richard Sturgeon, Zero Spiel, an ancient Robertson novel by Edmund Tran. Zero Spiel. Are you sure? says her tiny. Never surer. Around the whirling vortex spins the tiny ball, the fulcrum on which the entire mission rests. Rien ne va plus. Uh, sorry. Rien ne va plus. No more bets. No more chances. Just this one. Her tiny's probability calculations fluctuate in Robertson's AR. Turn that off, she says under her breath. Don't need it. Thirteen. The dolly drops on thirteen. Players' chips are raked by the table's magnets. Robertson pushes away from the roulette table and her mag boots disengage. The counter sign has been confirmed. She is floating through the orbital casino at a measured pace. The gilded scales of women's dresses float away from their bodies in microgravity, shining like precious metal Christmas trees. Earth glows blue through the casino's picture windows. Her tiny speaks in AR. I assume that means you and the platform AI have an agreement in place? Robertson. <laughs> Robertson. We're one step closer to the biggest score low Earth orbit has ever seen. So it's like a, maybe a heist, maybe? A space heist? Oh, I like that the orbit is also a roulette wheel. That's very cool. Oh, uh, message with Natali Kuroshenko. Here's his contact info if you want it. Bye. <laughs> Hassan M. Tanjir Orb Orbital Freeport. Low Earth orbit. Okay, so she sent, she sent Sarah the deets for this guy. What does this do? What's it do? Oh, I can't. Yeah, okay, I can't get on it. Fifty-eight minutes, twenty-five kilometers, five hundred and ten calories. That seems like way not enough. But I mean, I mean, who am I to say? I don't know. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Almost. Um, but just incidentally, is there anything we should be worried about with another year out here, health-wise? Radiation, bone density? Oh no. We spend almost all of our time in Earth gravity, and radiation shielding on a station like this is basically 100%. Yeah, see? That's what I told him. Okay. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah. Nothing to worry about. Okay, Odin. Where were we? Yeah. Oh. Oh, it ends there. Pooey. Nine kilos. Pretty decent. I'm just lifting them like nobody's problem. I can't. I can't grab the big weight. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Get some of that aggro out. Oh, I'm puffed. But I also got an achievement, so well done me. And I am not allowed on the treadmills, so. Um, I'm fairly sure I had a pretty good squares. Maybe I didn't go in here. Oh. I don't know that I want to see people in the bathroom. That seems very... Um, you know, doesn't seem great. I guess it doesn't matter because I can't see their body. I can see their body, obviously, but. Message with Evie St. James. No, that's what the Human Oversight Accord, Accord means. If an orbital facility is run by AI, HOA requires there be an AI specialist on board. And if there's one human on board, there need to be at least two other people, up, uh, two other people for up to a three month hitch. Ah, the coveted NAT support roles. I knew it. 
And for postings of a year or more, you need six, etc. Sanity, wellness, admin, you, may, you name it. Also, it guarantees a whole lot of people union jobs they wouldn't otherwise have. What if I told you I'd feel a lot more sane with a couple fewer people around? You and me both, kid. Okay, so really you just need one person to uh, be a specialist for the AI. And then the rest are just to stop someone being totally <laughs> um, isolated. One vein. I'm guessing it's a band. Veiny Johnny <laughs> Marcus and Wizard Marcus. Look but don't touch. So she's having a listen to that. And that's all I can get. Oh, okay, that's it. She's just in the shower. Enjoying the song. Can I stand in here? Yeah! Oh, that's cool. You get to shower under the... You get to shower and look up at the space station. That's very cool. Yeet. Um, did I look through here? No. Oh, wait, well, I guess I did. And I, yeah, I pretty much saw everything. I can't access Clive's. I mean, I could probably go to his locker? Or his little, um... His little office and probably have a look there. He doesn't... He doesn't have anything more to say, does he? No. Okay, um... Let me go back to Clive's office. Let's see. Maybe there's a... Maybe there's a clue here? Of what his, what his code could be. I don't know where I'd find it. Uh, okay. Oh, 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 oh! Gym Locker, 1407. Yeah! Thank God. Thank God people are still crap at remembering random strings of numbers. Huh. <sighs> I know, personally, I have, like, a whole... I had to have a very embarrassing, like, phone call with my bank recently because I was like, I can't get access to a certain thing. And they were like, okay, what's your ID number? And I'm like, I don't know. And they're like, okay, what's this other number to ID yourself? And I'm like, I still don't know. This is the problem. But apparently it's a very, um... It's a very common thing <laughs> of people forgetting all these random number passwords. Clive Siddiqui, fitness program, intermediate one. Caloric intake custom plan, last activity nine days ago. College peak statistics, 88.5 kilos, body fat, 15%. Bench, 96 kilos, seven minute mile. Come on, Clive. Ah, oh, and that was him as a younger man. I mean, you know, you can't hold yourself to your college standards. I mean, you would have been, you know, you would have been a teenager still. Um, but I mean, you can find levels of fitness at, oh, can I take that? Bunk drawer. No. Okay, it's just home. But bunk drawer. I definitely want to keep this. Bunk drawer. I didn't think I saw... I didn't think I would... I don't remember there being a drawer to unlock in Clive's office, but... I mean, there's got to be a reason to have this key, right? Bunk drawer. No? I mean, I can just open that, I think. No! <laughs> Let's put that there for now. Felt tip man. Man after my own heart. Okay, no. Bunk drawer. Well, I guess I've got to find here. Oh. Duh. Gosh, that was. 
Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Um, Titania, Public House from A Midsummer Night's Dream, the Queen Fairy, Titania. Oh, there he is. Please tell me I didn't just drop the key. Oh, no, it's there. Oh, thank God. Whew. No, Germ, look, I just... I don't know... I don't know why. Uh, all right, I mean, you, you know how I've always been. It's never real in my mind. <laughs> why would she give a damn about me? Of all the people... I will continue with this. I just want to get... Yeah. I just want to get that open while I'm... So I don't have to keep holding it in my hand. No, no, no. Ah, come back. Come back! Put that there. No! <laughs> Got some bracelets. Two. No! Put it back. Okay, grab the card. Darling, I found these on shore leave in a quaint Brighton market stall. They brought to mind the colour of your chestnut chestnut eyes S stupid clive stupid clive oh softlets tissues um so we wanted to give that to evie i think no hang on let me put it back oh god drawers are going to be the next bane of my life everybody I can feel it. Okay, let's put this back so that, you know, you know, no one knows I was snooping in his um, personal business. What was he drinking? Ah, some um, pineapple juice, delicious. Singapore, $10, a $10 coin, hell yeah. That must be London. Well, I'm guessing it's Big Ben's there. No points there. Carnival, the world's favourite cruise corporation. Dear Clive Siddiqui, as per our prior communication, we must reiterate that our decision regarding your application for readmission into the Carnival employees ecosystem is final. Despite having received letter of endorsement from current employee Burgess Germain, we cannot alter our position on this matter. Unfortunately, employees who fail to fulfill contracted duration with Carnival are not eligible for rehire, now or in the future, regardless of circumstances. Sincerely yours, Carnival Hiring Desk Account. That sucks. There's not even like a name to put to it. So he used to work for Carnival, but now he can't rejoin because he didn't fulfill contracted his contracted time it says for whatever reason but that seems crap Hilton, dear Mr. Siddiqui, thank you for your interest in rejoining the Hilton family. Unfortunately, at this time, we are seeking a candidate with deeper experience working with the public at a high level of service. We welcome you to reapply once you have achieved at least two full-length postings at a position of management uh, serve, customer service on a class three leisure facility or greater. We regret to state that attending Hilton University university is not a guarantee of employment since you left the hilton family following graduation we wish you all the best in your career pursuits sincerest in sincerest regards tra tran transverse transverse burn assistant hiring manager hilton orbital command so he's looking at doing like a like a customer service thing but he's not getting a lot of luck that sucks dude Smiley versus Carla from Russia with Love. Diamonds are forever. Oh, he's a Bond fan. Bond fan, rather. It's not so surprising if he's um British. We've got hair pomade. Pomade. Toiletries bag. We've got some lotion. Very good. And we've got... Oh, sanitary wipes. Dope. Dope to dope. Okay, well, let's close that. Yeah. Oh, he's been having a bit of a uh, having a bit of a chin wag uh, with his mate. I wonder how long this goes for. 
We'll listen no, to this, Jeff, and then, just, um, we'll, uh, no, I just, we'll go into the next episode. I don't know, I don't know why. Uh, all right, I mean, you, you know how I've always been. It's never real in my mind. <laughs> why would she give a damn about me? Of all the people... Oh, he's knocked oh, stuff over. No, I'm just... Taxi! I'm spilling scotch all over out of space. <laughs> Aww. Clive's a sweetie. I really like him. He seems so sweet. Off station message with Jermaine. It's true. Here's why I'll be out of touch for the next eight months or so. Carnival Cruise Lines launches Far Reaches Expedition Tour past Jupiter. An historic first for orbital vacation travel, Carnival Cruise Line's resplendent long-term habitation vessel will host 1.333 of Earth's wealthiest and most adventurous travellers for the voyage of a lifetime. Helmed by Chief Cruise Officer Jermaine Burgess, the resplendents <laughs> swing twightly past Jupiter, giving lucky, lucky passengers an extended view of this spectacular gas giant. It's many moons. Moons? It's many moons and it's famous red red spot. Oh my god. I'm so sorry everyone. Great red spot. Before continuing on course back toward Earth. The full duration of the excursion is nearly eight full calendar months. During which time... Message with Evie. Sounds nice but wouldn't that be a lot of work? Not in the least, my dear. All good Britons are trained in presenting proper high tea. And in bullshitting. They have AR tutorials for everything these days. Aww. This is very sweet. I wonder if the high tea setup in her, um... In, in Evie's personal quarters was because she was having high tea with... With Clive. Oh, I really like all these characters. Um, football, hospitality management, efficiency and logistics. Greatest sea battles of history. Yeah, he's a very classy guy, but he also seems very sweet. He's got a nice taste in ties. Uh, Rosencrantz and Gilderstone are dead. Directed by Frederica Wen, starring Carmen Hurel, Luna Montero. October 16th, th uh, uh, October 1631, Barker Proscenium. Huh, cute. That's a very good play, by the way. Um, yeah. Aww. I, I, I really want things to turn out well for these guys. I really do hope they are alive. Um, and hopefully this has a good ending, maybe. Well, keep those fingers crossed because we will keep exploring on the next episode. Bye.